YouTube, welcome back to a new video. Uh, today I'm excited because as you can see on my screen, we are back with a UI video. So you can see quest log. I really like this design here. I think it looks super, it looks, it looks really nice. The colors, um, the buttons especially. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this. This should not take too long, hopefully. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Make sure to drop a like. First things first, we're going to make a new layer. I'm going to start with the title bar up here. So let's go to our shape tool, click and hold. Go for the rounded rectangle tool right here. Um, I think radius, I think 15 should work. Possibly. Uh, we're just going to go over like this. Alright, I think that should be fine. Okay, so we have this. We're going to double click and I'm going to select this color. And the reason for that is because to get this thing, we're going to right click. We're going to right click, go into blending options. And now we're going to go for inner shadow. Now make sure your color is white. We're going to turn choke up, size down, and distance at zero. And now we're going to adjust the size. So, like this. Uh, the mode is overlay. I think you could do normal. That might actually be better, like that. Okay, so you can see we have this now. Looks pretty good. Oops, don't close out just yet because we have to add a drop shadow. So normal this time. Now this time you want spread all the way up and your angle is at 90, so it goes from top to bottom. I'm gonna click here and let's select on this nice little color. So there we have it. We got our title bar pretty much that's all it takes uh let's just add some text real quick so i'm gonna type out quest log right here all right so let's right click blending options and let's go add a stroke like this right here and also a drop shadow and uh let's save this because actually let's just go black Increase the size a little bit, and now we're going to add an additional drop shadow. This one will just be uh, this color, because you can see there's two right here, so let's go up, and you can see that right there. Okay, so quest log is here. Now to make the actual frame, let's make a new layer. I'm going to go below the title bar, obviously. Let's go around it rectangle right here and let's go like that. Uh, double click, change the color. Alright, I'm just going to go for this color this time. And actually, I'm going to make this smaller. I'm only going to grab the inside shape this time. And I'm going to show you why in just a second. So we're going to go blending options and let's go add a stroke with uh, this right here. And the reason why I'm doing this is if you give me a second, I'll show you. Let's go ahead and add a drop shadow real quick. Let's go right here. Okay, so 35 should work. Alright, the reason is because we're going to make a new layer right on top. We're going to right click and hit create copy mask right here. We're going to take our brush tool, use the color black. Oops. Okay, so hardness is at 0, opacity 30, flow 30. And the reason is you can see this gradient here. That's what we're going to do. So. We're just gonna, uh, so we're just going to paint. It's gonna all around like this, like this, and you can see the stroke is not affected by uh, by this painting here. So that's what we want, and we do like that. And there we go. That was good to me. Uh, there's this big drop shadow, so I suppose we could add that too on the title bar. Let's just go add a new drop shadow all the way up. And this is gonna go like this. It's turn the opacity down to 30, 25, should work. I'm gonna go for 30. All right, so all this good to me. 
Uh, what should we move on to next? I'm just gonna duplicate the text and just add a quick little X button here. Let's do this little uh, rectangle thing. So, new layer. Back to your rectangle tool. And this time, you can drop the radius to like 10. And just do a nice little shape. Just place this one right here. Double click. And we can go for this color. Let's uh, right click. Blending options. This time for your inner shadow, change the color to black. Alright, and lower the opacity. Now you have something like this. Go up to like 7. Okay. Also add a drop shadow, obviously, for this part. Okay. And once you're good with that. Alright, so I'm just gonna add a coin icon. <laughs> um, that I have. So, with this, I'm going to right click blending options and drop shadow, turn this like this, increase the size, like so. There we go. Alright, now let's just go ahead and do the text. Let's do the progress text increase the size a little bit make sure it's uh, aligned and now to do this part this part is quite simple just go ahead and make a new layer round it rectangle so again drop the radius to 5 and go for this right here and double click make sure you go for the inside color here not the outside color go for the inside color because you can go Lending options. You're gonna go for inner shadow. You can't really see it, but okay. Let's go for the color white. And actually, you should just actually just pick this color. <laughs> and you can see we have this nice little progress bar right here. Okay, this will move accordingly. Move this up a little bit. All right, now I'm going to duplicate this. I'm gonna take the FX icon right here and drag this to the trash can to get rid of the FX so right here. And we're just gonna right click and hit blending options again. This time let's go for gradient overlay. Normal angle is at 90, you can copy my settings. Double click and choose this color. Double click again, let's choose the top color. Hit OK and we could add a drop shadow because there's a little shadow going on here. So drop shadow. Scroll like this. And let's scale this down. Like so. Alright, looks good to me. Um, what else can we do? Alright, so now. For the final bit, we're going to do the buttons, but before that we have to add this little divider, so I'm just going to add this right here. Okay. Let's make this darker. Alright, now for these two buttons, this should not be too difficult. Let's make a new layer. Let's go rounded rectangle. Increase the radius to, I want to say, 20. And just go over this right here. Right, and let's go right click, blending options. We're going to go gradient overlay. Not move this here so you can see it. And double click, choose the bottom color. We're going to double click and choose on the top color. It's kind of slow, hit OK. Inner shadow. Let's go for the color white. Decrease the size. And lower the opacity a little bit. 25. Let's go for a drop shadow. Spread up, size down. Change the color to this right here. 
and a new drop shadow. This one is going to just go like this all the way down. All right, so if you take a look, this is what we have. Uh, run it rectangle again, new layer. Drop the drop the radius to five. Use the color white. We're gonna do, we're going to make this little inside man. It's gonna go right here. And just drop the opacity and just drop the opacity like so you can even use your ellipse tool new layer and make this little circle as well control t let's flip and now for the text obviously you can use the same text in the title bar so that's exactly so that's what i'm going to do so i'm gonna group this button together Place this right here, and now I'm gonna hit Control J to copy this button. Move this one uh, to this side. We're going to right-click. Let's go convert to let's go convert to Smart Object. I'm gonna go Control U and just change the color like so. Also, you have to adjust this little shadow thing on the text, which is just one uh, little minor change here so let's go for this right here okay and also change the text to claim these two just move them over here and now finally we're going to make uh this thing so new layer rounded rectangle tool again let's go for this inside color uh radius maybe like 10 i think or 15 we're just gonna go right here okay so make a new layer and now let's go for polygon tool change the sides to three and we're just gonna make a triangle like this uh you can hit control c and scale this triangle like this and now we're gonna take these two shapes right here hit control e take these two shapes right click and hit convert to smart objects so you right click running options and from here this is quite simple at the inner shadow go for the color black and now let's add the little text text right here and finally Now I'm going to duplicate this icon. That's gonna go right here. Also, it has a little drop shadow here. I kinda didn't notice. So here we go. It's fixed. Let's take these three. Let's take these. Align it and let's move it across. And there you guys have it. All right, so there you guys have it. Uh, I hope this video helps you guys. If this did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what else you guys want to see. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video because we're going to have a lot more coming out soon. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned. And uh, yeah, peace out.